Never Stop Learning, week 233. We're going to take a quick look at library linked assets in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. All right, so last week we took a look at library linked smart objects in Adobe Photoshop. So I figured we'd take a look at how this works in Illustrator. Here I've got this postcard that I'm working on, and I'd like to add an asset from Adobe Photoshop. Over on the right, I already have my libraries panel up. If you don't see yours, go into the window menu, scroll down until you find libraries, and when you click on that, it's gonna bring up the libraries panel for you. All right, currently I don't have any assets in my panel, so let's jump over to Adobe Photoshop, and I'm gonna show you how to create a pixel-based asset. All right, here I've got this document open, and I'm gonna use this document to create my new asset. Over on the bottom right, notice this layer is called Herefordshire. Now, the reason I'm mentioning that is your asset is gonna take on that layer name. All right, so I'm gonna click and drag into the libraries panel and nothing really happens. So I'm gonna release. Now, the way you wanna bring it into the libraries panel is first hit the V key on your keyboard to make sure you have the move tool activated. Then just click on your document, bring the pixels over into the library panel. Now I get this plus symbol and it shows me the name of that layer. I'm gonna release and now I've created my new asset. Over here on the bottom right, it's showing me that it's actually syncing up to the Creative Cloud. Let's switch over to Adobe Illustrator, and in the Libraries panel, that asset is already ready for use. All right, now the way you bring it into your document is, you can click and drag it into your artboard, and when you release, you've actually brought in a linked asset. All right, I'm gonna delete that. Another way to work is right-click on it, and you could click Place Linked. All right, it's gonna drop it off in the center of my artboard, I'm going to throw it over towards the left, and this is pretty much what I wanted for this postcard. Now, I want to show you guys something else. If I right-click on this, I could also place a copy. Now, when I place a copy, this is actually an embedded asset. That means if some changes are made to my asset in the Creative Cloud, this image down here at the bottom will not be updated. So I'm just going to leave it out of the way for now, and I'll show you guys how that looks later on. All right, so here we have our linked asset. Now, one of the benefits is, if I make some changes to the original asset, this postcard will be updated for me. So let's see how we make changes to this asset. Over in the right, I'm gonna double click on this thumbnail. Now, Adobe Illustrator is telling me that I can't edit this asset in Illustrator, but I can use it by just dragging and dropping it like I showed you earlier. I'll click OK to dismiss that window. Now, you have to find out which application it was created in. When you hover over it, it tells you it was created in Photoshop, you could also switch over to a list view and then see this icon here, letting you know that it was created in Photoshop. So let's jump over to Adobe Photoshop. All right, now if I were to make some changes to this, I'd be making some changes to the original document, not the asset. So to make some changes to the asset, jump into the libraries panel, double click on that thumbnail. Now it says Herefordshire underscore and a series of numbers uh, and letters and stuff. That's kind of like the temporary name, uh, but when I see that, I know that I'm working with the asset in the Creative Cloud. So let's make some changes. Over on the bottom right, I'm actually gonna convert this guy to a smart object, which is gonna give me more flexibility later. And in my adjustments panel, I'm gonna convert this guy to black and white. All right, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna hit Command S or Control S on my keyboard, and you'll see the thumbnail updated over here in the libraries panel. I'm gonna close this tab and switch over to Adobe Illustrator. Notice my postcard is already updated without me having to do anything at all. Down over here at the bottom, this embedded asset has not been updated. All right, so because this is linked and we use smart objects, we have all the flexibility we need. So if I look at this and say, I'd actually like to lighten this and add a color tone, it's really easy. Jump back into Adobe Photoshop so that we could edit the original asset. Double click on the thumbnail. All right, now we have a smart object down here so we can continue to add some more adjustments. I'm gonna make a change to this one. Instead of the default, I'll go with lighter. Then I'm gonna add a color lookup table. And the one I'm gonna go with is gonna be edgy amber. All right, that's still kind of dark. So I'm gonna add a levels adjustment, slide the white slider towards the left, and then just open up the midtones. All right, this looks pretty good. I'm gonna close this tab. Remember to save the changes. And then when you jump over to Adobe Illustrator, your changes have already been made for you. You see the thumbnail is updated in the libraries panel and that embedded asset still looks the same as it did when we originally brought it into the document. So there you have it folks. That's a quick look at library linked assets in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.